This week, the Sarah Jane Adventures arrived on BBC iPlayer after an absence of several years. Up until this week, the only place you could stream the show in the UK was Britbox or ITVX, which are both kind of the same thing. It, it's complicated. Anyway, Dot 2 fans rejoiced, and we all celebrated that finally Dot 2 tortured class, and now the Sarah Jane Adventures are all on iPlayer. Well, for about 20 minutes, when suddenly Twitter became full of scandalous accusations that the BBC had censored the Sarah Jane Adventures. Well, I can tell you for a fact, this simply isn't true. Firstly, let's take a look at what the prosecution says has happened. They say that the Invasion of Bane has had lots of cuts to it compared to any other version seen on BBC iPlayer or DVD before, mostly to lines by Kelsey Hooper. Overall, this is 1 minute and 31 seconds worth of cuts, and yes, they are 100% a thing that has happened. However, people are saying far and wide that this is because the lines are not considered to be politically correct or woke in 2022, and they have been cut to avoid any backlash. Cuts to programmes like Little Britain and Faulty Towers have been used as proof the BBC would do this. So let's take a look at the cuts. These samples, come on, I'm gonna show you Darren. He works in a bike shop, he's over buff. Dad, I'm going out! I'm going on a tour, get these samples. Come on, I'm gonna show you Darren. Dad, I'm going out! It's enough lip at the back, just do it. Thank you. It's a bit rude. I don't care. You're total muffin. Okay, everyone, this. It's enough lip at the back, just do it. Okay, everyone, this is the main production. You're not supposed to use your phone. And what are you? A girl guide. They'll take it off you. Well, he's not going to see, is he? Two ticks. You're not supposed to use your phone. Well, he's not going to see, is he? Two ticks. We'll be safe in here for a bit. One place men never go. Sorry for dragging you into the ladies. Why do men never go to the ladies? We'll be safe in here for a bit. Did you search your left? But it's for their females only. We are males. Their culture says we must never go in. Oh, you idiot! Did you search your left? And another thing, I want compensation for that phone. That was brand new last week. And FYI, he's a prize mentalist. He's got like this big puppet thing living in his roof and he thinks it's his mom. And another thing, he's got like this big puppet thing living in his roof and he thinks it's his mom. Puppet. Banner Man Road. And she's as loony as you lot. We must retrieve the architect. Banner Man Road. We must retrieve the architect. Perhaps we can use her. You can let me go. Otherwise, I'm phoning the police and child lying. You can let me go. Otherwise, I'm phoning the police. Bannerman Road. Where you go? Well, I don't have to be home till six. We could go for a burger. Get out. Bannerman Road. Get out. And don't forget. I went off and I was running around the factory looking for you. He's all right, you down. He's a bit fit. Oh, shut up! But where did you get to, Kelsey? Tell me, the factory, what happened? I went off and I was running around the factory looking for you. Where did you get to, Kelsey? Tell me, the factory, what happened? Sarah Jane, open up, it's me, it's Maria! <sighs> You're completely shaming me. Sarah Jane, open up, it's me, it's Maria! Oh, my flipping head! No, don't go up there! Oh, my No, head. don't go up there! And some of them want to invade. You still believe me? Yes. Really? How come? Because you're bonkers, but I don't think you're a liar. Oh, well, that's nice to know. No, except about <laughs> the bonkers bit. This place is beautiful. Thank you. Not so bad yourself, fella. What does that mean? Oh, he's mine. Is that good or bad? That's bad. That's very bad. It's just you, though. On your own. And some of them want to invade. It's just you, though. On your own. I thought you didn't believe in aliens. Oh, you can shut up. I've got things about space living in my stomach. What are you going to do about it? It's not my fault. Yeah? you got all this stuff, all these gadgets, and you sit here talking, yapping on all day about planets and monsters. What good is that? Why don't you actually do something? All right, Kelsey. Just you watch. I thought you didn't believe in aliens. Mr Smith, 
Yes, Sarah Jane. I need you. Now, as you can see, the cuts take out a lot of small lines by Kelsey, which are kind of cringy. They're not really that offensive and they're not really that problematic. They're just very much kind of the things a British working class girl from 2007 would say. So, what if I told you these cuts were actually made not in 2022, but in 2007, not long after the programme was actually broadcast? The version of Invasion of the Bane that the BBC added to iPlayer a few days ago was actually the BBC Worldwide International Syndicated version of the special, which was edited, as was the standard practice for BBC Worldwide at the time, to remove British pop culture references that would just would confuse international audiences. The reason all these edits happened to Kelsey wasn't because of some big woke conspiracy or anything, it's simply because her entire personality in the episode was reading off mid-2000 British pop culture references. Therefore, these were all cut for the international market. So why has the BBC Worldwide version of Invasion of the Bane been added to BBC iPlayer? Well, I have a theory. I think that the entire BBC Worldwide international package for the Sergi Adventures has been added. There's a few main pieces of evidence for this. One is obviously the international version of Invasion of the Bane being added, which has previously gone unseen in the UK. Second is the fact all the listings from titles, inconsistent punctuation and images from entirely different episodes are just all over the place. Consider that just a few years ago, The Sailor and Adventures was on iPlayer and everything was present and correct. Thirdly is the fact the new BBC logo is in the corner of the screen, meaning this was a new upload onto the system following Spring 2022. Fourth is the fact that both the episodes of The Curse of Kai Glanger are missing, but not only that, in fact, the episode numbers just completely ignore it, skip past it. The files aren't just missing, they've been replaced with the next story. So, what does this all mean? Well, the way BBC iPlayer works, and the way things are catalogued on the BBC system mean that different programmes have different programme pages associated with the channel they originally broadcast. Even programmes that have all never been on iPlayer, the BBC have gone out their way to make sure they have listings. This is because theoretically they could then upload any episode of a BBC programme to iPlayer if they wanted and it would be instantly listed with images, names, descriptions, cast list, transmission times etc etc. It's a really good system. The Sarah Jane Adventures has all of this on its original broadcast, and when it was last on iPlayer, we could see it in action, working. However, these new versions have not been uploaded to the pre-existing listings, hence why the images and descriptions and titles are all a bit off. The biggest giveaway that this has happened, though, is at the corner of each episode's BBC iPlayer page, a standard BBC logo against a black backdrop is used, whereas it should be a CBBC logo. If the episodes have been added to the original listings, it would be a CBBC logo. That's how the BBC system works. And the most compelling fact is the fact all these original episode pages on the CBC sites still exist, but the programme isn't available, and this includes the Curse of Clyde Langer. So then, why is the Curse of Clyde Langer mysteriously missing? Well, it's because as far as I can tell, the story was never ever included in the BBC Worldwide International Syndication Package. Why wasn't it? Who knows? Maybe there is some truth in BBC censorship towards the episode. Twitter seems to think it's because of the totem pole stuff, and the BBC didn't put it on iPlayer a few days ago because of this. Well, that's not true, but that may have been the reason in 2011 when they didn't put it in the BBC Worldwide package. The thing is, this has happened before, at least with the Curse of Clive Langer. When the Sarah Jane Adventures went over to BritBox a few years ago, the Curse of Clive Langer was missing for the first few weeks before fans kicked off and BritBox would ask the BBC for the story. I expect BritBox 2 would give them the BBC Worldwide versions originally. It's too much of a coincidence for this to have happened twice, it's not a conspiracy. I think we just ended up with a foreign package of episodes. So why has this happened? Well, I think someone's just made a mistake to be honest. It's very unlikely to be anything else. The person tasked with adding these episodes back into iPlayer instead of just reactivating the versions already there, sort of unlocking them, managed to forget they were there and just searched in the BBC archive for Sarah Jane Adventures and then selected the episodes and uploaded what was there. Now, there may have been two versions there, and they just selected the wrong one. That's all I can think of. The overriding problem is that this mistake is probably just going to stick around. It's expected the Sarah Jane Adventures may stay in iPlayer for good now, just like New Who and Tortured, and therefore the version of the episodes on here probably won't be replaced. If they went down after 12 months, for example, and then sometime later were added again, they'd probably end up adding the right UK versions, but for now, this is probably going to become the definitive version of the show. It will be the most easily accessible, and it will become the version everyone will watch. 
just like BritBox, I expect the Close Cloud Lang will probably get added at some point when they realise, but the BBC will really have to take notice to fix the other issues caused by this cock-up. So get used to it. Inconsistencies galore. This is just what we're stuck with. So no, the BBC didn't try and censor the Savage End Adventures, it's no big conspiracy. Someone just made a mistake.